What's up, YouTube? This is Warfire604 here to give you the next part of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I, we just finished conquering the freaking forest, and we have now the forest medallion. Hells yeah! Alright, our next thing that we have to do is we have to head to Death Mountain. But first, we're going to do this. This is going to help us in the future, so... What are you doing? I just came to check out the room. What the hell are you doing here? You destroyed the wicked creatures that haunted the temple and awakened the sage. But there's still other sages who need your help. In order to awaken the other sages, you must become more powerful. What the fuck? Is this some Dragon Ball Z type shit? You must become more powerful. You must travel over mountains, underwater, and even through time. Through time? Really? If you want to return to your original time, return the Master Sword to the pedestal of time. By doing this, you will travel back in time seven years. What the fuck? If that, this is like some Back to the Future type shit. Great Scott! The time will come when you will have to return here quickly. I will teach you. I will teach this to you for when the time comes. The song that will return you to the temple of time. The prelude of light. Ah, the prelude of light. Bing ding, bing ding ding ding. Booyah, like a pro. Bender, bender, bender. Holy shit, look at that, they're making a spirit bomb. What the fuck is up with that floating thing in the sky? Keep playing, don't drop it. Oh shit, the fireflies are back. As long as you hold the Ocarina of Time and the Master Sword, you hold time itself in your hands. Warfire, we shall meet again. Huh? Shit! Did you see that? He did some solar flare type shit. Where the hell did that spirit bomb go? Okay. Luckily that spirit bomb disappeared. But those fireflies came back. My ocarina is just filled with those fireflies. Okay. I guess that means over mountains. I guess that means we have to go to Death Mountain next. Yeah. Death Mountain it is. Let us go. Oh. Just kidding. I don't think we need my horse for this one. We're just gonna run towards it. We need our exercise. That horse is probably somewhere anyways. Who knows? We're gonna cut by Kakaraku Village. You know how much fun it is to say that? Kakaraku! Kakaraku! 
Gakurako! I cut you all in Gakurako! I cut you! Yeah! Holy shit, they made a metal. Oh yeah! You know what? Before we actually do that, I think we should do a side, another piece of side quest. Let's go in here and do some, you know, fancy shit. Do you want to play a game? It is 20 rubies per play. Yes! Okay, that's great! Game for grown ups, high rules, famous shooting gallery. Take aim at the targets, platform over there. You get 10 targets, you get 15 shots. Draw your weapon B, get ready for the perfect score. Good luck! Oh shit! Oh shit. Okay, it's gonna take us at least a couple tries to remember how to get everything. Almost! Alright, holy shit, I, I missed all but two. Perfect! Took us two tries there, hell yeah! Here's a fantastic present! Dun -dun! You can carry up to 40 arrows, hell yeah! That's how we roll! Alright, any other side quest? Nope, just that one. Hiya! Do we need anything else? No, we don't. That guard disappeared. What did he do with my mask? That mountain trap. Holy oh, shit, monsters. That we could take down in one shot. Goody. Holy fuck! Looks like he's gonna stop and take a look at the mountain from here. That looks... I, I always like the look of that. That always looks sketchy. Hey! Listen! That cloud over Death Mountain. There's something strange about it. You think? Maybe your advice is just humorous throughout this entire game. I don't know how we can do it without you. Oh shit! Like I said, I don't know how we could do it without you. As you can tell, obviously there is something up with that mountain. But we're gonna check out Goron City. See how everyone in here is doing. I think we might need some bombs for this one. Oh yeah, I got I remember what we have to do here. You have to wait for that freaking thing to come here. And fire! How could you do this to me? You, your Ganondorf servant! Hear my name and tremble! I am Warfire, hero of the Gorons! That is impossible because I am Warfire, hero of the Gorons. You're just some tiny thing. What? 
Your name is also Warfire? Then you must be the legendary Dodongo Buster hero. Warfire, my name is Darumia. Oh, my dad is Darunia. Do you remember him? With a name like that, of course not. My dad named me Warfire. After you, because you're so brave. It's a cool name. I really like it. Warfire, you, a hero, to us Gorons. I don't know why I just said it like that. This is sounding funny. I'm so glad to meet you. Please, give me your autograph. Sign it to my friend Warfire of the Gorons. Oh, I guess it's not a good time to ask you for this. Please help everyone. My dad, Dalulia, went to the fire temple. A dragon is inside. Really? Was it, did they summon red eyes? Shit! If we don't hurry up, even my dad will be eaten by the dragon. <laughs> you better, you better try and calm him down if you can. Maybe he will calm down if you talk to him. What do you want to ask him? What about the Gohans? <laughs> you better calm him down if you ask him something. What would you like to ask him? I guess it would be a good time to ask him about the dragon. Long time ago, there was an evil dragon named Volvega living in the mountain. That dragon was very scary. He ate Gohans. Using a huge hammer, the hero of the Gohans, boom, destroyed it just like that. Even the smith from a long time ago, but it's true. I know him because my dad is the descendant of the hero. Boo! You better try and calm him down. What the fuck are we gonna ask him? I guess we could ask him this. Everybody was taken to the fire temple. While my dad was out, Ganondorf's followers came and took them all away. All of them will be eaten by Volvega. Dad said that Ganondorf has revived Volvega. As a warning to those who might oppose him, Ganondorf is going to feed them all to Volvega. Dad went to the fire temple all by himself to save everyone. Please help, Warfire. I'll give you this heat resisting tunic. Oh shit, we got a red one now. You got to go on tunic. This heat resistant tunic is adult size. It won't fit a kid, obviously. It's adult size. Going to a hard place? No worry. The mighty door is open. Alright, let's try this red tunic on. We look excellent. Hells yeah. Okay. Dad told me not to let anyone follow him to the temple, but only you, Warfire, can save everyone. I'm sure that the shop owner is hiding somewhere right now. Now I'll tell you a secret passage to the fire temple. Try moving the statues inside that room. Okay. You want us to go in your dad's room? Awkward. That is very awkward. I guess, I guess he means this. Oh! We have opened it. Hells yeah. Let us go in. Alright, Death Mountain Crater. That is very interesting looking. Alright, this was t basically a side quest. Kind of. Alright, next episode, we are going to take the first steps in entering the Fire Temple. So we will see you guys next episode.